One tap equals one chop. The more I chop, the stronger I get until we break whatever it is we're hitting. And we're gonna keep doing this until eventually we're so strong we're gonna split the universe itself in half. And just like in real life, I get one dollar every time I karate chop the board. You know what, I think it's gonna be a good day today. I can sit here and drink coffee and click away and watch this guy break stuff. And it gets even better, we can rapid fire this thing if we want to. It sounds like we're breaking reality when we do this, so I'm gonna keep doing it this way. But I've gotten the notification that we can have more breaking power. This will take us on one to two. So we'll break things twice as quickly and make twice the money. I know we think his hand would get really strong, but think about the size of his thighs. Look at the motion he's doing again and again. This guy's gonna have the biggest legs in the world. We destroyed 20, $1,200. Now we're gonna do HP. I'm not yet sure how HP is relevant and I'm not sure I care. I'm just here to break stuff. Wonder if I can change my outfit. I feel like this isn't very streamlined for chopping. Whatever the case, power level is up to 3 now so it's gonna take 3 hits in a little bit. We're getting so good at this you can hardly even see the board anymore. We can just chop through it. We've officially broken 50 very thin chopsticks. More chopping power. We'll now do it in 2 and a half hits. Okay, I understand now every time we hit the board it gives us 1 damage. That's why HP is relevant. Which is why we're going to double our HP restoration. So, in theory, if we're clicking fast enough, we will actually die. We don't want to kill this guy. We need his hands to break stuff. Uh, I just hit the ready thing up here, and we got a gold bar, which I think, oh, it's going to get us lots of money. It's a bonus thing. Oh, see if we can get a thousand of these broken. Okay, well, luckily we have an auto clicker, so this is as quick as we can conceivably go. Oh, he hurt his hand. I forgot that that was a thing already. Well, he's just going to have to get over it. Keep hitting it. Uh, uh, crybaby tears aside, we've got $32,000 to spend. So what we need with that is definitely more HP restoration. That way he doesn't uh, hurt himself again. And we'll put breaking power up to 10. While also giving ourselves a little bit more HP and HP regeneration. Now we can one-shot these things. There genuinely is something satisfying about this. And we get $10 per hit and our HP regenerates entirely. This is very efficient. And we've hit turbo mode, which means we're breaking the thing still in one hit. But he looks very intense about it. Okay, we've officially destroyed 100 of these. I think that means we can unlock the next two chopsticks. We gotta go through two of them now, which takes two hits. What we're going to do now is upgrade our critical power. It's going to be a 1.2, 1.5 times multiplier. I'm not sure how often those happen, but when they do, we'll do a little bit of extra damage. For now, breaking them in two hits is going to be just fine. It still only hurts me for, I think, one or two damage, which we heal instantly. And this one I can do quickly, too. We can just do a chop chop, and it's broken. There's a treasure chest. Uh, 772. I will, in fact, take that. Thank you. And there's 200 broken. That means we can do three of them. This will do three damage to our hands, and will take three hits to break. Unless I increase my power a little bit. It's still three hits to break, but we're healing through the damage. That's all that really matters. Plus, this does give us three per break, so it's only going to take 33, 34 of these to get 100 destroyed. And as we broke it 300, we got our power boost thing, so we're doing this in two hits now. But we can add another board for now. This one breaks in uh, four. It's doing a little bit of damage to our hand. But if we upgrade our power, I think that's going to do it in three. It's soon going to do it in three. But once we buy that, one, two, three hits and it's destroyed, which is lots of money and lots of experience. What we do need is more HP regeneration. We'll bring that all the way up to 10 per second. That way we can heal through this kind of mess, but also with the gold bar attack. This will make us lots of money, so I'm just going to use a little auto clicker here to take us all the way up to 1,000. We're going to break a gold bar clean in half. Kablamo. That gave us $100,000 by itself. We have 140000 but we make educated decisions here moving forward. So we're going to add just one more chopstick. Now we're going to chop through five of them at a time. With our boost, we're doing it in two hits, but when the coffee wears out, it's going to take uh, many hits. At least until I put all of my power into power level. 100 and whatever thousand dollars, and then we'll give ourselves some more HP. So now we're hitting for 22, so we're not quite two-shotting this, but we're actually pretty close. And apparently we can just keep adding chopsticks. We're not allowed to do anything else yet, but chopsticks are sure going to be a thing. We're at least breaking these in three hits. They have six to HP, and they're doing quite a bit of damage to my hand, but he's just going to have to toughen up. I don't care if his hand falls right off. We'll just start using the other one. We're going to break stuff. Seven chopsticks, doing seven damage to our precious hands. Okay, we hurt our hand again, so we're going to need to make an adjustment. Uh, more HP and more HP restoration. I still don't know if it's going to keep up because we're clicking pretty quickly. But if he wants to be a crybaby about it, there we go. Eight boards to break with your hand. Nine boards to break with your hand. It takes five full hits, but we'll make a lot of money doing this. As soon as he's done crying, we're going to break 1,000 of these. Okay, well, <laughs> we're going to make it a painful 1,000 then. He'll be fine, he's just got to get over it. So this is at max level, damage to hand is 10. So it should just be a few minutes of smashing this, and then we can lock something other than bamboo straws. Then we're going to get some more HP restoration. 
because we got our gold bar ready again and this is going to be some easy money but we can hurt our hand pretty bad on this but then again that's his problem so off he goes oh we're healing through this easy the gold bar does no damage to us anymore we're so strong so we'll take that hundred and something thousand dollars to get power level 25 and then we can do this in four clean hits and with the rest of the money we get a little bit more hp and hp restoration that way we can heal through our damage because we're going to have them working overtime and we have coffee power which doubles our damage so we can break this in two hits which is good we should take advantage of this uh, otherwise it runs out our health i think what i'm really going to need is lots of hp restoration at the rate i'm clicking Okay, this is the point about where I wanted to get to because now I'm healing as fast as my auto cooker can work, roughly. So now I don't have to play at all, I can just let the game play itself for a little while and we'll come back and be rich. Well, a few very short minutes later and we've got $8,400,000. So we're probably overdue to challenge the Breaking King. Break the wooden chopstick with 30 seconds. Got it. Wait, are we supposed to break a certain amount? Oh, we're supposed to break all 10 of them. I get it. I think we're probably up to the task. We still have 28 seconds left and we've got one more to break. So there we are. So that means we can move on to a new material, lumber. That gives 10 damage to hand to start. Luckily, I think we have what it takes to break right on through it. But I'm also getting pretty annoyed I'm not breaking these in one hit. So let's do something about that. Since we have $9 million, let's at least take the power up to uh, 50. Upgrades are now costing $120,000 each. Then we'll give ourselves a little more HP. And HP restoration is probably going to be one of the big ones. We'll go up to 40 per second. Critical hits are going to be three times the damage. Critical chance is going to go up to 4%, maybe even 5%. Okay, so apparently we're doing 49 damage. We need one more damage. One, two hits to break these. 50 damage per chop. So we're definitely up to the task of breaking this. And our achievements have gotten us more of the gems. So I'm going to further decrease the delay to the next breaking. So that should mean when something breaks, yeah, it's ready to go right away. No more waiting. So now we can all take our anchor out on the forest. This is exactly how I wanted to spend my day. Now they take two hits, but uh, especially if we use an auto clicker, it might as well be one. So we could probably go through lots of these before it's going to be a problem. We've broken up enough lumbers now that we can add two. Damage to hand is going to be 12. And it's going to take us six hits to break one of these, but we can still do that really quick. We can't quite heal our way through it, though. At least until we uh, increase our healing powers by a little bit. I don't know if we're quite keeping up to the damage we're doing to ourselves. We're clearly not, but we're also breaking through this in a really big hurry. And let's see what our gold bar is going to get us at this point. Probably the same as before. It takes 2,000 damage, which we're going to get to pretty much in an instant. So let's increase our power uh, this much up to uh, level 69 because we're a child. And give ourselves a little more health restoration and maybe even more max HP. So now it's only going to take uh, less than five hits to break this. These upgrades really do get expensive. Oh good, there's a spare 4,000 gold. What a generous gift. Okay, let's do a five lumbers. It's going to take an extra second to break through, but it's really not going to take that long because we're super strong. The problem is he's starting to hurt his hand again pretty easily. So we just need enough damage and we overcome the damage coming back our way. But we'll give him a few more HP per second, but then we probably just need more power overall. So power is up to 74, so that should help a little bit. Same with uh, HP regeneration, that looks a little better. It's not quite keeping up, but it's not far off. And when he goes into berserk mode, he can definitely break through these no problem at all. We've also decreased our delay, uh, so it's at absolutely minimal. So as soon as this breaks, a new one emerges right before us. And I decided we need to break 8 sticks instead of 1 now. We're going to go through them pretty quickly, and that's going to be a lot of money, plus 8. And this will be officially 1,000 of these broken. So we're probably okay to challenge the uh, king. We'll go ahead and smash these in no time at all. I think we just got to get through uh, all 10, 10 stages of them, which should be pretty easy. Even if we hurt our hand, we have plenty of time. Oh, you need to let his health come back once he hurt it. I didn't know things need to heal. That sounds like a him problem anyway. Anyways, there was a, this one is a stack of nine. This will be the 10 stack. We have uh, 30 seconds to get through this. So you know what? I think we're going to be okay. Bamboo. We're going to move on to bamboo. There's 20 damage to hand. We get $2,000 for breaking this. It does take a second, but the uh, further along ones will be worth much, much more. But I feel like we need more power. The more power we do, the less damage we take back. So we're going to go from 74 up to 81, which is actually a pretty big increase. So we're definitely breaking a basic one in three hits. Obviously, that's going to uh, go up the more things we're breaking through. But for now, we're fine. And we uh, hit a gold bar at the wrong time. He smashed his hand against that. Okay, we'll let our HP come back. And then we'll attack the gold bar. Luckily, we have an auto clicker, so we'll probably be fine. Well, we won't actually get it all the way done. Maybe? It's got to be close. Okay, we got a bunch of money for that. Plus, he's in rage mode, so we're just going to let him go with it. We're going to smash through everything. 
How long does power times 2 last for? 30 seconds? That's not worth it. That's the last time I ever click on anything ever again. Okay, and Crybaby needs more heals, so we're going to get him more heals. $144,000 each. He better appreciate these. We had an extra, I don't know, 4 per second or something. I guess we should probably add more uh, stacks onto this bamboo also. We saved up another 1.6 million, so we're going to buy another 4 power upgrades and some heals. So we're doing 85 per chop, which is actually pretty good, but we can still be better. Okay, we're at the point where we can stack it up to 4 bamboos. This will take a second to get through, but it'll be worth it. And I would really like the healing to be able to overcome what I'm doing now, so I'm going to spend a whole bunch of money strictly on healing. I went back to breaking wood because I was hoping I could just do that indefinitely to make lots of money, but we're still damaging ourselves faster than we can heal. I just spent another 3.2 million dollars, bringing our power up to 94. What I would really like now is we approach 1,000 bamboo sticks destroyed his ability to heal faster than I damage myself. So let's invest another 2.1 million dollars into doing just that. If I go back to the planks and have my turbo mode on, I just become a pile of planks. And another 2.7 million into healing power. It's still not enough to overcome the resistance even on the 10 planker. Well, that should be a big deal for now. We're going to challenge the bamboo thing to move on to the next material. Maybe that will be valuable enough to push us through. Do you think they'd be mad if we did the gold bar thing in the middle of the challenge? You became the bamboo breaking king. $200,000. Good. We're on to tile. That sounds good for the hands. $3,000 to break it, and it takes three, four hits. But let's maybe do the gold bar first because we need some money. We're getting $10,000 per strike and $2 million bonus at the end, and we're in turbo mode. He's very inspired. But we do have another $4 million, so let's increase our healing power again. We're up to 95 per second. That healing's gotta count for something. Okay, I'm gonna spend another about $4 million on HP recharging. I don't know if this is ever actually going to balance out. It's getting slowly better, but we're still a long ways off. I guess if I really wanted to, I could just go back to the very first level because we can break these at light speed now. We'll get $1,000 for each break and that really stacks up quickly. The game doesn't even know what to do with this. I'm chopping so fast my hand doesn't even move anymore. The stuff just breaks as it appears. It looks like bullets spitting out of a gun. Okay, using our god power, we've saved up $12.4 million. So we're going to bring our breaking power up to as even 100. That leaves us with $10 million to spend on HP restoration. And we can't quite endlessly break the planks, which is probably the best money we can make right now, but we're getting awfully close. And I guess things like critical power can be upgraded. They're quite cheap so far, and this will actually make a pretty big difference. I can't tell you how many millions of dollars we spent on this so far, but we're about to spend another 5 million, which basically gets us 5 upgrades. But the health is so close to balancing. I'm also going to spend maybe a few million dollars boosting my health right now, while buying another 2 of those per second. And the reason I wanted to raise my health up as high as possible is because if I spend the 100 gems I've finally saved up, I can get a new map that has a 2% chance for chests to appear but restores 10% HP. I think I might have finally done it. At 176 health per second, I don't think my health is going to drop. So now I can just sit back and relax and let the money roll in for a really long time. And before you know it, we have 50 million dollars to spend on whatever we want. To celebrate that, we're gonna break a bunch of sticks and jump into the pile. But more realistically, we'll see how much uh, power we can buy with $50 million. There's an extra 20% damage on top of where we just weren't. That was $10 million, but it gets a lot more expensive as we go. So we've already spent well over half the money. We got up to 143. But since we also have a percentage of our max health regenerating, let's spend a few dollars there. And then you know what the last $15 million here. We're up to 150 power. So at least we know we're breaking this in two hits, but we've got harder stuff to break. We're going to go back to the tiles. Uh, we're taking more damage than we're doing, but it's actually kind of close. We should tear through these in no time at all. It's actually crazy how tough these tiles are, considering we've probably spent hundreds of millions of dollars on upgrades so far, and their tiles are still stronger than my hands. And you know what? Let's spend $1.5 million on critical chance. I think every time we get a critical hit, it's like 5.5 times damage, so that's got to start to add up over time. We got Berserk mode going on, so we can just sit back and relax and watch the millions roll in. And we've officially broken 1,000 tiles. So to celebrate, let's give ourselves just a little more breaking power, and then also go power times 5 for 30 seconds and challenge the Break King. Because now we should be able to almost one-shot things. It's going to be very easy to break through all this. 5 times power. It's that easy. We're on to bricks. All we gotta do is break a single brick with our bare hands. Bricks have 1000 HP. We've spent hundreds of millions of dollars on upgrade. We do 162 damage. So even if we spend another 10 million dollars on power upgrades, which really only gets us a few, it still takes a lot of hits to bust through this thing. So if you need me, I'll be here for a while on power times 5, breaking bricks and trying to make what little money I can.